On this episode, we'll talk about how your stomach is removed in gastric sleeve surgery. We'll also be talking about those staples. Are those staples uh, dissolvable with time? Do they disintegrate with time? And we'll be talking about aloe vera. Is it okay to consume after surgery? Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Alvarez with endobariatric.com and welcome to episode 201 of the Ask Dr. A Show. Thanks so much for joining us. And if you are new to the show, let me uh, explain of how this works. You can use the hashtag Ask Dr. A throughout social media. Uh, use the hashtag, include a question. We'll be able to pick up those questions and I'll be here to answer them. If you're interested in weight loss surgery, gastric sleeve, weight loss in general, be sure to hit that subscribe button. That way you don't miss any of our future episodes as well. Let's get into the show. All right, so the first question is, and this is a common question, is how do you remove that portion of stomach uh, out of the abdomen uh, in gastric sleeve surgery? And uh, the answer is we remove it through the biggest incision. Remember, with weight loss surgery nowadays, uh, uh, 21st century, we don't do open surgery, we do laparoscopic surgery, which is keyhole surgery, very tiny incisions. And the biggest incision uh, out of those that you're getting, that is where we remove that big portion of the stomach. Uh, a lot of patients see that big stomach that we send out to their emails once we do their surgery. We pack that, with that st piece of stomach with, uh, with liquid, we take a picture, we place their initials, and we send them over to uh, my patient's emails so they can have it. Uh, they can actually see their own stomach, the portion that was removed. And when they see that big chunk of stomach, they say, wow, how do you get that thing out of my abdomen? And uh, the truth is we really fill up that portion of the stomach with fluid for you, for educational purposes, for you to see, uh, for graphic purposes, so you can actually see how much of content or volume would actually fit into that stomach that we remove or that portion of the stomach that we removed. Uh, but if you apply suction or you empty that piece of that portion of stomach, it really is like a balloon. If you insufflate the balloon, if you put air into the balloon, it'll expand, but if you apply suction, it collapses. And we're able to remove that balloon through that tiny incision, all right? So that's how we remove that portion of stomach out of your abdominal wall. Remember that with the sleeve, we, uh, we are cutting and stapling at the same time. It staples on one side. That's the portion that's gonna be left behind you, inside you. And it's also stapled on that portion that we removed. So it is completely sealed on one side, sealed on the other, and, and there's no saliva spilled, there's no, there, there's no blood spilled out, nothing. It's sealed and sealed, and there's a blade that cuts in the center. So that's, that's why that portion of the stomach that you see uh, is completely uh, sealed and stapled on inside of you and in that portion that we've removed. I hope this makes sense. If you still have any questions on that, let me know. Uh, we have a lot of videos on our YouTube channel that uh, explain and uh, show how we remove that uh, portion of stomach. So you might wanna look into that. Second question is, uh, the staples that we use that I was just talking about, are those staples, do they disintegrate with time? Are they absorbable? And the answer is no, they stay there forever and ever. And just because you're here with me, just because you've done enough research, just because you, you're looking into this procedure, uh, you know that we use these titanium staples. These titanium staples are very, 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 very small. Um, if you take a, an x-ray, you probably won't even see them. You'll probably be able to pick them up on an MRI or a CT scan. But they're very, very small, and just because you're here and you're getting yourself so knowledgeable about this procedure, you know that these staples do exist. Otherwise, you would never ever know you had these staples inside you, and they, would, they will not give you any issues at all down the road. They're also made out of titanium, and we've, we've explained this before, and titanium is completely um, magnetic free, so the, it, you can, it's safe to have an MRI. Uh, and you're not sounding alarms at air airports or anything like that. So uh, you won't notice a thing. They will, they're pretty much, they're harmless 
And the reason they're made out of titanium is titanium is the only material known to mankind, which is 100% biocompatible, which means that uh, there are no, absolutely no allergic reactions to this metal. And that is the reason these staples are made out of this metal. Third question is, can I consume aloe vera? And here's, uh, here's the deal with aloe vera. Yes, it is safe to consume. Um, I've seen uh, quite a bit of uh, studies made on aloe vera, but I'm not talking about consuming aloe vera. I'm talking about applying aloe vera on the incisions. It is completely safe. Once we clear you to start applying uh, uh, creams or ointments on your incisions, I don't like applying anything on those incisions 15 days for 15 days after your surgery, and then it's okay. And aloe vera, yes, it has anti-inflammatory properties, uh, very soothing. It's okay. It's not a problem. But on this uh, particular question, it's can I consume it? And I know there is a lot of, um, in Latin America, there's this tendency to have a lot of, or consume a lot of teas and can, or you can use uh, aloe vera extract, or can you, uh, you can do like a juice of aloe vera. And it's, if it's okay to consume it, the answer is yes, not right away not during your clear liquid phase. Uh, you can consume uh, an extract or a juice of this during uh, phase two. But if you have any particular questions, be sure to contact your doctor, your surgeon, or my patients have my direct email. All right, so there you have it for episode 201 of the Ask Dr. A show. I wanna hear about you. Send me your questions using the hashtag Ask Dr. A. And if you like the content, Hit me one of these. It helps a lot to support the channel. I appreciate your support. Thanks so much. I'm Dr. Alvarez with endobariatric.com. We are changing lives. Yes, we're changing lives every day, one sleeve at a time. Take care and God bless.